Hey gamers! If you are a fan of roguelike games, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I will show you best action roguelike shooter games that you should play. I know some of these games are still in early access, but all I know is this game is a good game. Alright then, without further ado, let's get started. Vampire Hunters is a cooperative dungeon crawler game for 1 to 4 players, expandable up to 6 with the From Blood to Dust expansion. The game offers 12 scenarios that can be played standalone or as part of a campaign. Your mission is to infiltrate vampire dens, retrieve relics, and slay powerful vampire lords. The gameplay involves taking 3 actions per turn with your character and activating vampires using activation cards. Combat is resolved with dice rolls for both vampires and players. The game features day and night phases, with vampires being more vulnerable during the day and becoming aggressive at night. However, the gameplay falls short due to the unpredictable enemy actions, making strategy building nearly impossible, especially during the night phase. This high level of randomness often reduces the game to a dice rolling frenzy, leaving players feeling that they had little control over the outcome. Battle Shapers is a new roguelite FPS game that's currently in early access. It's packed with fast-paced action, strategic gameplay, and a rewarding progression system that keeps you hooked. The movement and shooting mechanics remind me of Overwatch, while the intense combat feels a lot like the Doom series. Every run feels fresh and different. You'll find loads of weapons, abilities, and playstyles to unlock, along with diverse enemy types to keep you on your toes. Progression in the game is top-notch. You can earn two types of currencies, credits, and terrinium to upgrade your character and unlock cool new abilities. Although the system requirements are pretty high, but if you have a powerful PC, you can enjoy this one like without any problem. Vellum the newly released early access game on Steam is a magic-powered third-person shooter that offers a unique blend of elements. With a multitude of interconnected systems, Vellum promises exciting moments and endless replayability. Your magic avatar floats above the ground, allowing you to scoot around compact arenas with an added boost option to dodge damage. The game offers a variety of locomotion options and the ability to customize your playstyle with different spells or a healing focus loadout. Vellum's in-game powers are defined by signature inks, which serve as character classes, differentiating your magic powers from those of other players. Soul's Linger Envoy of Death is a roguelike arena shooter that's already a blast, even in its early stages. With only a third of its content currently available, it promises a lot more excitement to come. The game tells the story of the Souls Linger, a soul stuck in limbo, working for the Grim Reaper to take down an evil organization called the Cartel. Although there are only three guns available right now, each one feels powerful and satisfying to use, especially with the quick reload system that keeps the action flowing. The first third of the game is already solid and enjoyable, and there's a clear roadmap for future content. It's already a gem in its genre, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for it. Ziggurat 2, the sequel to the cult classic 2015 dungeon-crawling FPS, is a first-person shooter roguelite that builds on everything fans loved about the original. The gameplay is where the magic happens. The game offers several modes, three classic modes, campaign, and daily challenge, ensuring there's always a fresh experience waiting. Players kick off their adventure by choosing from two characters, with over 10 more to unlock as they progress. Each mission feels like a unique run through randomly generated dungeon areas, from volcanic lairs to floating castles and abandoned mines. Whether you're a fan of the original or new to the series, 
this game is sure to enchant you with its thrilling dungeon crawling action. RoboBeat is a rhythm-based first-person shooter game that combines elements of rhythm, roguelike, and FPS genres. In RoboBeat, players take on the role of Ace, a bounty hunter on a mission to capture the robot gone rogue named Frazer in his ever-shifting lair. Players must navigate through levels and shoot enemies while synchronizing their actions to the beat of the music. As players progress through the game, they can unlock new songs, weapons, and utilities. The visuals and environments in Robo Beat adapt to the music, enhancing the immersive experience. The game features a custom music editor that allows players to upload and trim their own tracks, or use the in-game editor to auto-generate beats that suit their playstyle. Get to the Orange Door is an early-access roguelike first-person shooter that blends fast-paced combat with parkour elements. This game offers an intriguing mix of action and platforming in a futuristic setting. The game's strongest feature is its movement system. Players can wall run, vault, and air dash through levels, creating a fluid and enjoyable parkour experience. This freedom of movement adds an exciting dimension to both combat and exploration, allowing players to approach situations from various angles. The game offers a wide array of weapons, from standard shotguns and snipers to more unique options. While most weapons follow familiar archetypes, they're easy to understand and use effectively. Immortal Redneck is a first-person shooter roguelike game, permanent death with nine classes different traits. The gameplay is where Immortal Redneck truly shines, with fast-paced movement, complex and vertical rooms, and carefully crafted encounters that challenge your reflexes. Enemies are intelligently designed, and weapons are diverse, ranging from ancient Egyptian-inspired pistols and rifles to enchanted staves and laser cannons. Scrolls add an element of chaos to the game, offering powerful effects that can change your playstyle, but with potential negative effects. Overall, the platforming, progression, and bosses are all fun, making it hard to find another FPS as flat-out fun as this one. Bullets Per Minute is a standout game that combines roguelike, rhythm, and first-person shooter elements. This game challenges you to navigate dungeons while blasting enemies in sync with the music. The gameplay is a thrilling combination of satisfaction and chaos. When you get the rhythm right, shooting and reloading to the beat feels incredible. However, the game's intense, doom-inspired movement and tight spaces crammed with enemies can make it difficult to keep up with the music's beat. But don't worry, BPM provides plenty of tools to help you manage things better. A variety of weapons and abilities can improve your experience. I understand that the combination of rhythm and roguelike elements isn't for everyone, but if you enjoy a challenge and want something unique, BPM has a lot to offer. Void Bastards is a first-person shooter and strategy game that takes inspiration from System Shock 2 and Bioshock. In this game, you play as a prisoner on a mission to gain freedom by following the whims of a demanding HR computer. You travel across the galaxy using an FTL-style map, boarding enemy spaceships to loot and escape before meeting a grim end. The game shines with its focus on combat against strange, British-themed aliens in cramped spaces. It also includes immersive sim elements like hacking turrets, disabling security cameras, and shutting down systems from onboard terminals. Overall, Void Bastards offers a unique blend of strategy, humor, action, and addictive gameplay with engaging visuals make it a must-try for fans of the genre. Crab Champions is a third-person shooter that combines fast-paced action with roguelike elements. Set on beautiful exotic islands, 
This game will have you controlling a crab as you leap, dodge, and shoot your way through intense battles. The game offers both solo and multiplayer modes, so you can team up with up to four friends or take on the challenge alone. With 14 different guns, ranging from SMGs and pistols to rocket launchers, the variety keeps the gameplay fresh and exciting. The ultimate goal is to defeat the final boss, but the adventure doesn't end there. You can choose to re-loop with your current powers, facing even stronger enemies for an added challenge. Returnal is a third-person shooter game that combines elements of roguelike gameplay, psychological horror, and science fiction. In Returnal, you will play as Selene Vassos, an astronaut who crash lands on the mysterious planet Atropus. Selene finds herself trapped in a time loop, reliving the same events over and over again. The story of Returnal is known for its complexity and depth, exploring themes of identity, memory, and existentialism. The game's narrative unfolds gradually as players progress and discover fragments of Selene's memories. As players progress through the game, they explore the ever-changing environments of Atropus, battle hostile creatures, and uncover the secrets of the planet. Each time Selene dies, she is resurrected at the crash site. But the world around her changes, presenting new challenges and opportunities. Gunfire Reborn is a unique gaming experience that combines elements from FPS, looter shooter, RPG, and roguelike genres. The game truly shines in co-op mode, offering a fun and engaging experience similar to Borderlands. The game provides a variety of characters, each with unique abilities and skills, allowing for a level of customization and strategic depth. The progression system, which includes unlocking new weapons, upgrades, and perks, adds a satisfying sense of advancement and replayability. The game's emphasis on using different weapon types to counter specific enemy weaknesses adds a strategic layer to the gameplay. The roguelike elements, such as permadeath and limited revive mechanic, create a sense of tension and challenge, keeping the game fresh and engaging. RoboQuest is fast-paced roguelite FPS is set in a vibrant dystopian future where you control various robots navigating through different biomes. In RoboQuest, you play as one of five robots and your operator directs you to destroy enemy robots and turrets across different biomes. The enemy robots drop various powerful weapons, health packs, power cores, and wrenches, which you can trade for upgrades after each playthrough. As a roguelike, every drop matters and can significantly impact your run. Each robot class has a special ability, like the Guardian's Immortality Shield, which is handy during intense battles. The game can be challenging, even on easy mode. Unique bosses await at the end of every other biome, providing tough but thrilling battles. Risk of Rain 2 is a multiplayer roguelike third-person shooter that is the sequel to the original Risk of Rain game. In Risk of Rain 2, players control survivors who are stranded on a hostile alien planet. The goal is to fight through hordes of monsters and bosses while collecting items that enhance the player's abilities. The core gameplay loop revolves around surviving increasingly difficult waves of enemies and acquiring powerful items to become stronger. As players progress, they can unlock new characters with unique abilities, each offering a different playstyle. The game received positive feedback for its challenging nature, cooperative multiplayer feature, and the excitement of discovering new items and abilities. Diabotical Rogue is an online first-person shooter that combines fast-paced combat with roguelike upgrades. Players can choose from three base suits, each with its own unique flair, and engage in intense battles against opponents and teammates alike. The upgrade choices made during each match can significantly impact the outcome, making strategic decision-making crucial. 
The game features a buttery smooth movement system, allowing players to glide around maps with agility. And if you enjoy the fast-paced action of arena shooters and the long-term character progression of roguelikes, then Diabotical Rogue might be worth checking out even in early access. And that's it for today. What do you think about this list? I know there are best action roguelike shooter games out there that I haven't mentioned yet. Please share your favorite action roguelike shooter games that you think deserve a spot here. Don't forget to like this video, and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss another great list. And as always, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.